Okay, so uh, this is auto runs, uh, take one I suppose, um, <coughs> or auto play, playing with auto play. So uh, I've got a box here, I'm just purely testing off a local host. So I use Posh C2, uh, developed by uh, two of my friends and colleagues, uh, Ben Turner and Dave Hardy. Awesome C2 framework, it's free, it's available from uh, Netitude's Git GitHub. Um, highly recommend you have a look at it. This one's a little bit old because I haven't updated. Um, but it's just to prove the concept basically. So uh, first off, let's insert our CD, shall we? So I will choose our disk image, pick the uh, right one, insert it, get prompted, and I'll select what to choose, what to happen. And as you can see, the open folder to view files has been published by Microsoft Windows for that ultimate legitimacy. Okay, the icon, for some reason, I don't know why, uh, the folder icon has been resized a tiny, tiny bit in comparison to the blue. Considering that was created from a screenshot I took um, of the actual icon, not quite sure what's gone on there, but it's good enough to pass my muster anyway, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so you click it. Nice. We have an implant. Bang. We've got an implant in the background. It's opened up the D drive in the, in the front so the person can look at the files because you know, you're opening the folder to view the files. And in the background, if you can uh, have a look, we've got our implant that's come in. Uh, there you go. So you can see it now. Um, we've got our implant in, and uh, the working directory of that, I think, is going to be uh, D. So if I do uh, LS, you should see the contents of the D drive. Um, or actually what you'll find is that there are no contents of the D drive uh, because it's all hidden files. Um, is it LS Force? Yeah, LS Force, there you go. And if we look at the contents of the auto run.in file, uh, that's our contents. So we've got a simple open equals mshda.exe, points to a bit of VB script that's hosted. In this case, it's hosted locally on a 127001 address, but it could be hosted on the internet. Um, that'll be proxy aware as well, so it'll come out bound the moment a receptionist, for example, inserts it into their uh, laptop, or rather, not a laptop, workstation, hopefully. Um, ignore the explorer.exe at the end of the, the string there because that doesn't work. Um, that was me, that was a dirt from earlier, and I have appeared to have left it in by accident. Um, what I had to do was modify the VB script that's offered uh, from, the, uh, from the website there. Um, not, not the end of the world, uh, simple enough edit. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, maybe you don't want Explorer.exe running, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. But basically, just edit your payload to do whatever you're trying to pose as. Um, yeah, playing with autoplay. There you go.